For two and a half weeks, Sheriff Chris Fitzgerald has been the face of this investigation, and he tells us it has certainly taken a toll on him, on his investigators, on the community. But he says the Jamie Kloss case remains a top priority. Amber Alert issued for a 13-year-old. We have to find her. And Jamie Kloss is her name. The frantic search for Jamie Kloss hasn't left much time for reflection. We've been away from our families. We've been out of touch with anything else besides this case. But now Sheriff Chris Fitzgerald is catching his breath. You know, I have two kids of my own and a family, and I just can't imagine a, a child missing. Fitzgerald says that's driving him and his team of investigators right now, and they're also motivated by the overwhelming community response, including the few thousand people who have helped in search efforts. That puts so much hope in the hearts of our law enforcement officers. We're sad that a 13-year-old girl is missing, but at the same time, it was just this heartwarming feeling that I just can't describe except it was just heartwarming. But after 18 days of searching and agonizing, Jamie is still gone and the killing of her parents remains unsolved. 18 days later, are you closer to any suspects or any motive? Uh, no, it's still, there's still some mystery to this case. Fitzgerald says it's still not clear if someone targeted Jamie and her parents. I wish I could solve that. I wish I could give the community that answer. That's the answer I struggle with every night as I go to sleep is to figure out exactly if this was random or not. At one point, more than 200 officers were on the ground here pursuing the case. Now the tips are starting to decline. Fitzgerald says it no longer makes sense to have a 24 seven operation center. Many state and federal investigators are now working the case from their home offices. At any one second, I have a social media team in Milwaukee ready to go. Um, so the resources are still there. By no means are, has any resource been taken away from this case. And evidence is still being processed every day at the crime lab. And we're getting those results and maybe one of those results tomorrow will be the day. Uh, we always hope that tomorrow's the day. The sheriff says this 24-7 command center could be back up and running here in Barron County instantly if he needs it to be. He says it'll take one phone call to make that happen if the right tip comes in and they feel they need an around-the-clock investigation back in the works again. Here in Barron County, I'm Danny Spiewak, CARE 11 News.